Hey, it's Holly. Welcome back to Living It Country. Today, my cheeks are hurting a little bit because <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really thrilled to have Alicia here from Thrifty and Chic Decor on Instagram. She is just the queen of amazing DIY projects and decorating on a budget and sharing all of that. So I'm just so thrilled to have her here today sharing her home. And if you guys want inspiration too, make sure you guys go to the description box down below and give her a follow and show her some love in the comment section of this video. And I'm just so thrilled to have her here today. So grab a cup of coffee, I got mine already, and let's go tour her home today. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia from thriftyandchic.com and I am so grateful and thankful to be invited here to share my autumn, fall home tour with you. My house doesn't get home toured <laughs> very often or video home toured, so I'm super excited about this opportunity. So this is, when you first come into my house, um, this is kind of what you see. My door is over here. This is my entryway, um, and I love decorating this area for fall. It's super fun. This is kind of new still, so learning how to decorate all of it has been great. I decided to, this is where I added color in my house. You will notice that the theme in the rest of my house is very neutral. In this area, I did the greens and the oranges, the typical fall, fall colors over here. And of course, the candles are mainstay in all of my themes and books. Uh, these amazing gourds, <laughs> pumpkins, the Cinderella pumpkins, um, they're, they just, I got them on sale for like super cheap and so I have a lot of them. So you guys will be seeing those a lot. Not in my the rest of my home tour, but in my outdoors. I decided to bring some of them in here just for this area to um, add a little bit more of realistic variety. <laughs> Usually I use fake pumpkins, so it's been fun to add this in here. So let me take you on the rest of my home tour. So as you enter my home, this is the first area that you see. These are the pumpkins I referenced to before you weren't able to see. I decided to put books around them. I did get a, quite a few books from that nice little yard sale. And here's a better look at this area. Um, those, as I said, are very functional. All of those bins and they house a lot of shoes. <laughs> um, so keeping this area clean is quite fun. And up here I added the arches. I love these arches. I think arches just bring so much character into a space, especially a new build. It's a great easy way to bring a lot of character. All right, welcome to my front living room. This is what kind of greets you when you come into my house. Usually a dog barking. Right now he's sleeping. <laughs> um, as you can see, a theme in my house is going to be a lot of neutrals, um, darker browns, rusts, and greenery in here. Definitely is the one that is a lot of the greenery with the browns and neutrals. I use a little more vintage-y feel in here with um, my mantle. That mirror right there is actually my great-great-grandmother's. And then I found this mantle for $75 on a classified. Um, it was a steal, obviously. I can't find anything like that, even though I want another one. Um, right here is I just piled up all my pumpkins that I had left over. I tightened the green up with the greenery on top. Other, um, otherwise, it just looked kind of weird having so many white pumpkins on the bottom. Coming down here, this is how I decorated this little autumn, well, this bench. <laughs> um, it actually has a lot of toys. It houses a lot of toys. And so this one, I have to make it easy to move to get into the bench. So we put the crate right here with more amber glasses or vases, bottles, <laughs> that uh, match the mantle and kind of just added a few things in there just to create some interest. Uh, this is a new addition into this room right here. It's a secretary hutch. And this came out of my living room and I wanted to add it in here just to add, um, well, I didn't want to get rid of it, truthfully. <laughs> I added another hutch in that other room. 
and here is this angle from here so yeah there is a tour of my front living room all right here is my living room um this is where you know the heart of the home kind of deal so yeah i have i added pumpkins for fall once again i added lots of greenery um here's my mantle and i just love how this ended up working out i'm not quite ready for the full col fall colors. And so I'm um, kind of holding on to this what's left of summer. Um, and I decided to do all of the terracotta pots with this, with the long garland, kind of just stuck some pumpkins in there. Um, I also have all the wood on the right side over there. Um, that's kind of a mainstay now it wasn't meant to be but i love it so much it brings so much character and on the left side over there that's uh, a new little um design that i put on the bookshelves so that was fun to redo i love on my tv if you guys just search fall landscapes it usually gives you some changing pictures on youtube and you could just it comes with music too right now i don't have the music on but then you just find the one you like and you put it on there and it's just a beautiful piece of art. So let's go over here and this is my coffee table, um, ottoman. <laughs> and yeah, I decorate it. I love decorating with candles, lots of greenery, and of course pumpkins. These are my new little favorite addition are these books. And let's go over this way to see this other view of the room. Um, these are actually some my new couches to me and it's fun it's been fun playing around with the seasons with them I here's the new cabinet in that corner that I changed out with that secretary hutch in the front room I added some pumpkins up there a little bit of fun with the pumpkins and the dough bowl behind the couch and uh, yeah it's so once again pretty neutral in here kept it neutral with the greens and the pumpkins and um, which that leads us into the dining room. All right, next in my tour is my dining room. This year I went a little more simple and lower on the tablescape, as you can see. Added some plaids and brought in some other nat natural elements with the pompous grass over there on my buffet. Um, that was fun. I was. I got those local. I went to the old ditch <laughs> and cut them all out. And I love decorating my buffet. I went definitely a neutral color scheme in here. Hardly any greens or any colors. <laughs> Just very natural. My pie hutch over here also has um, more neutral vibe. And then backing on up. We have uh, this little apothecary cabinet that has a little touch of fall foliage. And yeah, this is my dining room. Super neutral this year. I ended up going with the um, plaid pops. Pops the plaid just to um, give it a little more interest, I guess. All right, here we are in my master bedroom. Um, I went neutral in here as well. I added this beautiful bench with all the pumpkins I can find to fill it all up. This is the only spot in this bedroom with my pup um, that has the pumpkins. I actually just redid this bench and I just absolutely love how it looks in here. Um, I went with a very neutral color scheme as I said. Um, over here I used the pompous grass on my nightstands and that helped bring in a natural element um, in a way of non-artificial things which is great especially for those who don't like plastic <laughs> i've heard that a lot uh, and then over in this corner i also added my blanket ladder and topped it off with some artificial <laughs> um let's, let's see fall foliage i guess you could say and so yeah um this is probably one of my favorite rooms right now just because of that new addition with that beautiful bench. I also layered in here lots of layers with the rug and the blankets, the pillows, of course all the pumpkins. 
A big thank you to Alicia for opening up her stunning home and sharing it here today. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration and I will see you guys in tomorrow's home tour. Bye.